are at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Today, I'm going to make apple and black. Yummy! I need you to go and get the fruit. Nope. We've got baskets for the apples. And buckets for the black. First, the easy bit. Picking apps. On the count of three, shake. One, One two, two, three! three. <laughs> <laughs> now for the black. Why don't we just have apple? Because black are tasty too, Grandpa. Okay, now the hard bit. Now that's what I call a black bush. This bush has been here since I was a little. It's an overgrown weed. I should have cut it down years ago. Grandpa, why don't you like it? I don't like the way it looks. Silly Grandpa. It's just a harmless bush. And it's covered in lovely black. George has seen some really big, <laughs> juicy <laughs> black. <laughs> Careful, George, or you might get tangled. <laughs> I have a stick for picking hard to reach black. <laughs> Clever, Grandpa. But the best black are right at the very top. That's why I brought the ladder. Um, don't lean too far over, Mummy Pig. Don't worry. I've been climbing this black bush since I was a little girl. Yes, but you're not a little girl now. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, Mummy Pig has fallen into the black bush. Mummy, can you get out? Uh, no! You're stuck in a thorny bush like Sleeping Beauty. What? Once upon a time. Don't worry, Mummy. In a hundred years, a handsome prince will rescue you. Wait a minute. I'll be that handsome prince. Grandpa Pig, may I borrow your pruning shears, please? Nope. Stand back, everyone. Take that, you thorny bush, you. My prince. My princess. 